we've had some uh, fishermen call and say, I have a question. They were quite shocked on the boat because I got the phone call back saying, yeah, I can't believe you just did that to me. And I said, you did what? They said, we called you with a question and Martha called us back. <laughs> My name is Martha also. Hey, Martha's for Martha. Martha's for Martha. Martha's exactly. <laughs> I'm supporting Martha Copley because I have known Martha since she was the Middlesex DA, and I've known her now in her role as the Attorney General, and she is one of the hardest, smartest, thoughtful people I know in elected government. In Massachusetts, I know can be prosperous and fair. We can do it on our terms. We can do it in a way in each community that says, we're going to build and sustain the economic growth, the investment in our kids, our workforce, make sure our kids have the tools they're going to need to compete. Oh, nice to see you. Yeah, very nice to see you. How are you, sweetie? Good. And for me, having a governor who has vision and who is thoughtful and who's just really savvy and smart and connecting the dots, I don't see anyone else in this race that brings all of that to the table the way Martha Copley does. The people in Massachusetts just want a fair shot, getting a good education, having an opportunity to get a job, and making sure we do our part in government to provide for our schools, our investment in our workforce, making sure that we are as fair as can be. We, in 2015, should be providing for mental behavioral health care the way we do diabetes and cardiac disease. Those are the kinds of people I've been fighting for looking for. That's where Massachusetts can go. So time and time again, Martha doesn't look towards the political answer or the one that makes her the most popular. She looks to the answer that's right. Thank you. You do such a wonderful If I am lucky enough and work hard enough to be your next governor, and I intend to with your help, then we will have a chance.